This film is dedicated to all of the people who make this video. Mm. This art project shares the stories of the people of Mendocino. It's quietly dedicated community members who embody the town's identity and heritage as a place where people can work in their neighborhood and within their community. I hitchhiked into Mendocino in the summer of 7. I came here to look for a place to do business. My store has been in business 47 years. I'm a leather worker. I make belts, photo albums, wallets, checkbooks, and bags. For the last five years, I have been the volunteer fire chief. The thing that saved this place is that it's so hard to get here. The art center brought the art community. The Kelly House preserved the buildings. Emmy Lou Packard and Mildred Benioff saved the landscape. In the morning, I work in a beef cattle ranch, the Bald Hill Cattle Ranch. My ex-wife's uncle owns it. I'd love to run that business for him and have my little girls take over. They are four and six. I am born and raised seventh generation here in Mendocino. I have a lot of history here. My grandfather owned his own garbage business. I have three kids, they go to the same school I went to. It can be a struggle, there's not a lot of opportunities. Back in the 1970s, my mom's house was $10,000. It's become a retirement community. I moved here in 1977. Old logging family land was in my wife's family, and we moved here. Once I moved here, I continued carpentry. I worked as an orchardist, then I became an electrician. Working at the bookstore here is a retirement job. I was getting on my wife's nerves. <laughs> I'm the supervisor in the evenings. I make sure everything gets done. A lot of people move here with money. A lot of us don't have money, though. We need work. My family has been here for a long time. I went to Mendocino High, Shasta College, and Cal Poly. I did 80% of the wood projects these past 40 years for most of the buildings in town. I wish I had an open hours permit to burn. After college, I journeyed on a VW bus to the Grateful Dead in San Francisco. I came to Mendocino and didn't leave. I was broke and got a job. Not married and have kids. I'm an architect, mostly local projects. I live part time here and Great. in New Orleans. My husband was a ship pilot. We commuted back and forth. Hey, uh. We met in high school in San Francisco and we've been together since we were 17. Kevin's family owns some property in Hopland, so. We eventually moved to the area. I'm exhibition director at the Art Center, and Kevin is a district attorney in Fort Bragg. 
Wilbur! I've been working here for 21 years in the kitchen at the Mendocino Cafe. I'm the night chef at the cafe. We make everything. Mexican, Italian, American, everything. Baby, Korean, and food. I do good work for my wife and my kids. Everyone does it for money. You work anytime. forget the day on Wilbur's 34th birthday. He came up to me and he said, I've been here half my life. I made the cafe I wanted to go to. It was what was missing. I moved to Fort Bragg at its lowest in 2008. If it weren't for the marijuana industry, people would not have survived. I've been a writer for many years. I look for stories. I tell stories. We have a lot of characters in Fort Bragg and Mendocino, and I consider myself one of them. Aaron. Is he here? I oh, am from New Canaan, Connecticut. In 89, I followed the Grateful Dead and I ran out of gas so across the river. I drove to Kualala and I ran into Lucien Block and Stephen Dimitrov. I was their gardener and caretaker for four years. I'm a cannabis consultant. I'm also a gardener and I paint fresco. My dad was a local banker. He gave loans to fishermen, lumbermen, and the founder of the Arts Center, Bill Zaka. I remember Bill coming into the house to talk with my dad about it. It was such a far-fetched thing. Mendocino was the other place down south. It was just Dick's place. I teach at Redwood Elementary in the same building and rooms where I was a student. Fort Bragg is depressed today. In the past, it was a thriving lumber town. Tourism is what keeps it afloat. <laughs> I'm born and raised in Mendocino, and I went through Mendocino schools and went to college. I came back when my mother was ill to live with my dad. I started working at Dick's Place at 22 and 96. I met my husband here. I became manager in 2003. We bought the place in 2013. Dick's son Pete ran the bar until the 80s. Pete made a promise to keep the bar for the locals. When we bought it, we promised to keep it the same. Over the years, the only places in Mendocino that have stayed the same are the churches and Dick's place. <laughs> I am a patrol deputy with Mendocino County. We are responsible for 90 miles of coast. Our goal is to fairly enforce laws, reduce crime in our community. I design industrial machines for cannabis industry. I came to Mendocino six years ago and bought a property. I have two little boys. I'm the oldest father in town. I'm 60 years old. I have arthritis, so we decided I should live downstairs so my boys can run around with me. I do checking. I help out in the produce department keeping the shelves stocked. I want to help out, understanding the universe, finding out what dark matter and dark energy is. I love future stuff.
I've been here 11 years. I'm a survivor. I came from an abusive marriage and was hustling for three months and never left. I'm fortunate to have the gifts that I have to be an artist. I'm from Denmark. I've lived in Mendocino for 15 years. I'm a gardener and a blacksmith. To garden is a healthy and healing thing. My own personal work is Scandinavian design from my roots. Yeah! Yeah! We met at Cal and Marching Band. We played trombone. I was studying architecture, and he was studying mechanical engineering. On our honeymoon, we stayed at the Greenwood Pier in you know. Pretty soon, we were coming back to it for times of war. We really wanted to buy an inn. We knew we had to have an inn right on the water. Yeah. I want to say this empty surplus. I mean, everything that's been conserved to continue to be conserved. We are pretty well protected. I've been coming here many years. I'm from Southern California. Eventually, I got a teaching job. I was a professor of English, film, and humanities. I like the community and being by the sea, so I got an apartment here. I'm from Marin. I used to live in Walden House. It's for people with mental health or substance abuse issues near the Haight in San Francisco. I came to Mendocino a couple years ago. I love to make sculpture using beach wood. I like Mendocino. It's a good time. It's peaceful. Here. We produce organic olives and olive oil. We are the only producer of raw organic olives in North America. I've been here six years at Mendoza's. I keep produce on the floor for the customers. I stack up boxes and bring them out. I like building relationships with certain customers. <laughs> I've been working at the Allegria for nine years. I change beds and clean rooms as well, and clean everything. I do a good job for my children and grandchildren. Mike. Woo, Silver Fox! Yeah. <laughs> I'm an old soul. My great-great-grandfather Cummings showed up here in 1862 from Scotland and helped build Casper. I'm a butcher. I started in 77. It used to be a real trade. It's now just me. Every town here was a lumber town. It's gone. In its heyday, lumber employed 1,400 people. Then national lumber companies clear-cut 200,000 acres. Fort Bragg was a working town. There are no jobs now. How about some jobs? This used to be a town. Corporate America came in and wiped it out. That's a fact. <laughs> Your contribution, small or big, will help this important work thrive. Bravo!